Next chapter begins now. So I remember for the first one and a half years of traveling we only had carry-on backpacks. So looking at this, what happened? Last year in the US we upgraded to suitcases. The first year and a half of our world tour we just had carry-on sized backpacks and two instruments and now we have each one big suitcase. One suitcase for gifts and books. This is what we use for the retreat. Retreat, yeah, the retreat suitcase with all the supplies for the retreat attendees. And then we have one suitcase for Ilo. The Ilo is the only one that's ready. <laughs> this is all my stuff. Instruments, backpack, suitcase. And this is my stuff. We're gonna spend a first week in a hotel, so this is the only suitcase that we're gonna be opening for a few days. And then my backpack. I'd say pretty good for two and a half years to come back with a, a suitcase. <laughs> That's good. So and we whole, had... whole life is basically these three, four suitcases. Yes. We had some friends stop by this morning to say goodbye and they dropped off a bunch of shirts for us, which is amazing. So we remember Ecuador. <laughs> Everything is ready and uh, the cleaner is already here of the Airbnb to get it ready for the next guest. So we will be out and continue the journey. This mm -hmm. has been an amazing home. We also put the link of this home to Airbnb in the description if you want to check it out. If you make it to the coast in Ecuador, highly recommend. It's a beautiful space. As you saw, we have filmed many classes here and spent many, many months here. And the owners are also amazing. And we realized that this is also our last time staying in this home because it's a queen bed and, or full-size bed and all three of us have been sleeping in a full-size bed for like the last super month. tight shavasana style yeah so i don't think we're gonna be able to stay in this home again we'll see where we stay next time we're back in ecuador don't know and for now thank you home for everything for having us for having the baby and for all the content we produced here and such such good times really really good times mm -hmm. the best times <laughs> yeah now we're out Peace home and we continue the adventure. Yes. <laughs> Next stop, you'll find out. He just discovered his tongue. So now it's hilarious. He just sticks it out like an old dog where the tongue is just stuck out of the mouth. <laughs> yeah, so cool. We are surprisingly on time for our flight. If you know us, we're usually like 10 happened. minutes late. And so, 10 minutes. <laughs> no, 10 minutes late for everything, but for, okay. for flights, we're like, always late and pushing it on the minutes so close and like running through the airport yeah we're those people not today we actually got here three and a half hours early so we couldn't even check in our bags for the first 20 minutes we do it mostly because we don't want to stress him yeah and also everything takes a lot longer with him so we take extra extra time and start early Bree bundled him up in this cute outfit. Oh, it's so cute, the shoes. They stamped both of his passports, so that was kind of cool. And the, the customs officer also laughed at his baby passport photos. We checked in our five suitcases and then also had the car seat for him and instruments. And they're like, wow, what's yeah. with all this stuff? <laughs> We're like, well, it's our whole life. But everything was super smooth. We also got to the uh, immigration counter number 11. We see a lot of duplicate numbers when we are about to go somewhere or do something new. Or maybe are wondering, is this the right thing? And then usually it's like all day everywhere and we know, okay, thanks for communicating to us. So when the customs light lit up in 11 <laughs> was our assignment, we both just looked at each other and laughed. We were like, yeah, of course. We definitely feel like we're on track and that this is the right move and the right change for us. It's been a really uh, incredible time in Ecuador, of course, why we stayed so long. 
And yeah, we got to wrap up this past couple of weeks visiting so many amazing friends and such a good community. Saying goodbye to a place you love and if yeah. you, when you love the people there too, it's um, I think never easy. But it's just uh, see you see you later yeah. uh, because we are planning to return to Ecuador every year. Mm -hmm. And so we saw lots of friends over the last couple of weeks and said goodbye to the place where we get lunch every day or oftentimes in the fruit yeah. stand where we get fruits so all the locals because we come every day almost mm -hmm. and so then all of a sudden they are gone and then they're like where is this couple with the baby? Yeah. <laughs> so we said goodbye to everyone and just also gave thanks to, to the time in Ecuador. Incredible retreats we had here, so many of you watching this now came to our retreats and we got to meet you in person. This little one was also born here so many big things happened mm -hmm. it's amazing <laughs> yeah but this vlog is also not just us closing out our time in ecuador it's actually yeah. closing out the last two and a half years of us traveling around so we had this whole world tour planned you can check the video up here where we announced that we were quitting our corporate jobs and like going out and embarking teach. to travel and teach yoga i think this was like one week before <laughs> the pandemic hit so we of course had to reduce the amount of countries we visited and change actually just about everything. So we had I think 50, 40 or 50 countries planned and like 10 retreats and we of course ended up reducing that and we went to 10 countries in the last two and a half years. I think we will do another video just on that and kind of maybe some lessons what we learned also during this time mm -hmm. now two and a half years later. And now we are really excited and beyond ready to settle into our own home and grow some roots. We decided that we're gonna take some time off from live events and just focus on the baby, focus on our new home, on our new community and- Focus on um, you. Yeah, take more trainings and dive deeper into our own practices and all that good stuff. We just want to stay We're at home. We're gonna stay at home. <laughs> yeah. We just want to stay at home, yeah. live the simple life. Find some good hikes. <clears throat> find some find good nature. hikes, the best coffee shops, the best yeah. uh, vegan restaurants, and also build a community in our new area. Cheers. Cheers. Salud. Cheers. Let's go on a flight. <laughs> We moved to Miami. Boom! Cheers to that. Kombucha. <laughs> Cheers. No, we did not move to Miami. Psych. Our first connection, our first flight was a little bit delayed. So we missed the connection to our destination and onward journey. So the airline got us a, a hotel to spend the night and the first available flight was 24 hours later so tonight so we had the opportunity to spend the whole day in Miami it's the first time uh, for us to be here yeah we just kind of went with it <laughs> and woke up this morning and actually got kind of excited that we got to have this like bonus day in a city that we've never been to together but we had a good time here in Miami good day uh, very nice weather really chill vibes and we are now spending some time in the evening here at Miami Beach and soon we are heading to the hotel to grab all of our luggage and then heading to the airport to fly out tonight. Oh crap, it wasn't recording. Really? <laughs> no. No, just kidding. Let's get going. We continue the journey. Peace. Welcome home. Welcome home. Welcome home, Ayla. <laughs> Next chapter begins now.